Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be going over an FM21 tactic where we recreate Jurgen Klopp's, sorry, Jurgen Klopp's 2012-2013 tactic with Russia Dortmund. So over the years of FM, that's like 4 or 5, Gagan Press has been the most OP tactic and the formation was 4-2-3-1 with either having two centre mids or two DMs. So in the lineup, it's just a classic, you know, 4 2 3 1, not much in it with just inside forwards. A pressing forward is a bit different. But let's actually get into each role. So to recreate the tactic, they back then they had Weidenfeller in goal. And he didn't really like to get in play with, he didn't get involved with the play. And he would just give it straight to Hummels. So Hummels has been at the club for a long while, and then obviously took a little hiatus with Bayern Munich for three years, but then came straight back. But he's the main distributor from the back, as next to him we do have Zagadu, <coughs> pardon me, who, in the game, he's got great potential, but not really the starter you want. He's, well, he's just really a starter, just classic defender, not much more. And then in the midfield, you've got Emre Chan, who... He plays more like how Bender used to play. Basically, he's the main part of this team. Has to be able to pick the ball up. Basically, very good defensively. It can also spring a ball. In the next room, we do have Witzel. And he plays like Gundogan. Does a lot to go forward, but also can defend and just can string a lot of balls everywhere. So, both of them can play as deep line playmakers. Just one of them's more defensive, really. And obviously they pick, they tried to pick the ball up and then hit it far to, you know, create attacks, a very fast attack to hit them, just surprisingly. So your striker needs to be pressing, so he needs to be able to make constant runs off the last defender and go into the wide hand channels. And on the left hand side, we have Brandt, but Royce used to play out there when Gertz was here. And they took inside so they can let the full backs run down the wings and overlap so the right winger we do have Sancho but back then it was Blazakowski who had lots of pace and wouldn't cut in as much so the overlaps would come more on the left hand side and then on the right hand side but there'd still be overlaps and in the defensive area well after losing the ball as the wingers moved in and the fullbacks were up there would be a lot of players around the centre so because of that, they would try and get the ball straight back for counter press, and uh, they had a high line as well. So they'd all try and counter press by running at the players rather than they cut in the passing lanes. So if we go for in possession, uh, attacking width is just fairly wide. Pass into space, play out defence, passing directness go a bit more direct, tempo very high, work ball into box with be more disciplined. In transition, counter press, counter and stroop to centre back, distribute to centre backs. Our possession, we have a standard line of engagement, then we have a high defensive line, tighter marking and pressing uh, urgency. Very high. So, I've done one season just testing this out, and I've managed to walk the league. Let's go on to the actual table. We only lost one match, which was against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Had an impressive 95 goals and conceded only 25. We had three draws. Some against smaller teams like Frankfurt in the table. So not the greatest, but did quite well. So if we go to the team report, if we look at attacking efficiency, we were very aggressive and very clinical. Did very well this season with it all. And the general performance, we had a lot more goals per game, XG conceded per game, XG against. Shots per game was extremely high. Shot accuracy was good, but our passing accuracy wasn't the best. Attacking accuracy. Well, the reason why the passing accuracy isn't the best is due to the fact that Chan and Witzel will be spraying long balls to try to get to Halland, Sancho and Brandt all running in. Meaning that they will drastically bring it down. So we go down here, we can see our scoring. Aggressive and clinical. A lot of them came from inside the box. Only seven goals coming from outside of it. 
with a massive 37 inside the main side of the box and two coming from the right hand side. As well a lot of assists coming from the middle and the right hand side really. Left hand side wasn't being utilised as much. Conceding we were quite quiet in defence and impenetrable. Really good at that. Only Verde Bremen were more impenetrable but they were quite busy. And the formations we always played with this. Started 50 of it. Had a positive 55 or fo positive 55 click off chances. With a chance every 34 minutes. Chance to get through 58. So that's decent. And then we go to the stats. That doesn't really matter. The facts as well. That doesn't really matter either. So really the, the weak point of this team and of the old team that Klopp used to run was really the goalkeeper. Not very technically adapt, just very good at stopping it. So obviously through, we've conceded a lot through through balls because we are such high, so high up the pitch. But these through balls just split the defence. So I'm just going to see if there's anything else I want to go through here. That's for the last matches. But no, overall, there is a lot of... It's a lot about building up from the back. Obviously, Gag and Pressing using the classic tactic that everyone uses in FM. But having a deep line playmaker, you can go and defend if you want to hold more in a game, but... You want them to go a bit more forward. Goalkeeper, if you want to follow the tactic completely, it works quite well. So keep the keeper on, not really doing much passing. Keep him to just being a clear shot stopper. Nothing more, nothing less. Just want him to be holding tight. Wing backs, as long as they've got a bit of pace. And then can whip processing, because that's one thing they like to do. Was to get into the final area up here and put it into the box so that the pressing forward, which was Lewandowski, could easily finish these chances. So let's just have a look more into the results of what we did. So obviously we won the league, but we did go through the Champions League group stages. We beat Marseille in the first knockout round, but we did lose to Chelsea in the quarter final. Have it getting absolutely battered by Chelsea in the first, uh, well, the away match, and then doing well at home. Lost to Bayern Munich in extra time as they only just got on with the 9 plus third minute goal from Rocker. So, unfortunately, stop us from going through to the final. Other than that, we have some great wins in the Bundesliga, some great high scoring matches, actually, just in the Bundesliga 5 4, 5 1, 5 0. Four goals in a lot of games, so very attacking. Defence is absolutely solid. Could not complain about it. And if you are doing it with Borussia Dortmund trying to recreate Klopp, actually with it, with Borussia Dortmund, as I did say before, goalkeepers and right back and well wing backs are where you don't really care about, and this centre back. You want really you want your great players to be your centre back, your two midfielders, and then. A decent striker, as always, would work, but quality a little bit of lacking in quality from the front three wouldn't really cause too much, as the midfielders, I do believe, could carry you. So, it's a nice little tactic to go with, copying how they won the, nearly won the Champions League and had a good go at the Bundesliga a few times. But, obviously... It's not really a formation. Well, with Dortmund, you don't get a lot of money. It's mainly about bringing up the youth. And with first Haaland, well, with Haaland, he will go for a lot of money if you want to sell him. Obviously, he's a great player. You don't want to lose, but the money will come flying in with him. It's due to the fact that he's just such a good player. Well, that's been my... 4-2-3-1 Jurgen Klopp recreation ta well, tactic recreated from Borussia Dortmund. Thanks for watching and goodbye.